Hey, I'm Laura Daniel and welcome to Laura Loves New York. I am here with the very talented Fern Lim. Hello. And Fern is a multi-hyphenate, which means she is a producer, actor, writer. What else? Uh, art director. I also do graphic design and copywriting. Dude, wow, those were like five new things. <laughs> I met Fern when she and her co-star co-producers Kayla Conroy and Rachel K. Barkley brought me in for an episode of Human Telegraphs. Is this some sort of fad? It's not a fad, we're a message delivery service. Two messages delivered in my office in one day. We're running an office promotion right now. Imagine hiring somebody to deliver a very personal message. Yo, it's me, Tony. Barnaby, Pep? Hi, it's me, Jade. I have a message for you. Brought to you by the Human Telegraph. I'm gonna be a spastic wrecking ball all up on you. Jimmy. Is she dumping me? And of course they gave me a very delicious roll. You guys are applying for the same apartment. Awkward! <laughs> <laughs> These ladies are so fun and the show is sure to be a hit. Women! Am I right? <laughs> Feminist! Be sure to catch the human telegraphs coming soon. There's all these beautiful relationships and connections with strangers, and that's one of my favorite things about this city. Oh my gosh, that is so New York, and that's why I wanted Fern on Laura Loves New York. Because Fern loves New York too! Fern loves New York! Yay! <laughs> and anyway, we are at Five Napkin Burger, which is super a super fun location in New York. It can get a little touristy, but it's really, really fun and yummy. <laughs> so so tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, are you a, a New Yorker born and bred? No, or? actually I was born in California. Oh um, my god, me too! Really? Where? And, <laughs> um, Redlands, which oh. is like super southern, kind of near Palm Springs. Okay, I was born in Glendale, like Pasadena Get area. Out. Oh yeah. my god! I don't remember this it though. This is new information. <laughs> my brother, my brother lived in Glendale oh, for no a little way. bit. Yeah, he's a, he's a trimmer. Oh my god, small world. Yeah, it really is. But I mean, I lived there, lived there for about a year and a half, then I moved to Malaysia, then I moved back to the U.S., then I moved around the U.S., and then wow, lived in Shanghai after college, and then moved to New York. So it's like a journey. Oh my gosh! And I'm thinking of the casting possibilities. Ask this woman. Yeah. Um, oh, food, oh wait, their food, food is here. Food. <laughs> Hello. So after our sumptuous meal at Five Napkin Burger, Fern took me to my favorite place, Broadway. Fern is taking me to Harry Potter. She's my new favorite person in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I know how the way to Laura's heart. <laughs> it's so true. I Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is a two-part play, so we went Thursday and Friday night. And while we waited in line, Fern told me about the very fun off-Broadway play, Puffs. <laughs> <laughs> but we were over the moon about seeing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. We cannot believe this is actually it. We were both saying, I can't believe this is happening! <laughs> oh my god! The play is really excellent, and the cast is exactly how you'd imagine Harry and his friends years later. The theater has been completely refurbished so that every detail focuses on the world of Harry Potter, and it's an immersive experience. At one point, we felt like we were surrounded by stars. So hey, uh, here we are. We're at part two of Harry Potter and the First Child, and it's amazing. It's a... We're like speechless. <laughs> Everyone should see it, oh my god. It's this is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and I see so much theater. <laughs> At intermission, I asked Fern one of my favorite questions, which is, what advice would you give to your younger self? Just do it. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, just do it. You gotta, like, forge your own path. I think that's really important, forge your own path. Living for, like, how, what makes sense to you, not what makes sense to everybody else. I love it. You're having the best time, and I know, um, Again, I'm so thankful that you invited me on this adventure. <laughs> Keep on wizarding, guys. Yeah, wands at the ready. Woo! <laughs> and make sure you check out the cloakroom on the first floor. There are tons of beautiful paintings of the Patronus. Thanks again to Fern Lim for a magical time on Laura Loves New York. If there's anywhere you'd like to see, please drop me a line at lauralovesnewyork2 at gmail.com.